I'm Joachim Rykonen from the Department of Applied Physics from University of Eastern Finland. In the following film, we are going to introduce you the production of mesoporous silicon. We produce the porous silicon using silicon wafers. In this case, we have a P plus type silicon wafers, uh, which means that it has a good conductivity and the holes are the majority carriers for the current. The idea is that we electrochemically etch the porous structure on the surface of the wafer and then we'll remove the porous material from the wafer. Uh, for this purpose, we will need the silicon wafer, electrochemical etching cell, uh, power supply unit and the counter electrode. To assemble the etching cell, I will place the silicon wafer on the metallic contact. Then I will place the Teflon tube with O-ring on the top of the silicon wafer. And finally, I will tighten the cell with screws to seal up the etching cell. Now I will connect the electrochemical etching cell to the power supply unit. And then pour the hydrochloric acid electrolyte into the cell. And then I will place the negative platinum electrode into the solution. I will start the etching by switching on the etching current from the power supply unit. You can see hydrogen bubbles being produced during the etching. At the end of etching, the high current pulses are applied to the system. These pulses dissolve all silicon from beneath the porous film, making it easy to remove it from the substrate. Now the etching is finished, so first I will remove the electrode and then the electrolyte from the etching cell. Now I will disassemble the etching cell and remove the silicon wafer. And here we have the porous film that we just etched on the silicon wafer. And now I will remove the porous film.
To produce the porosilicon particles, either in micro size or nano size, you will need to mill the films. We will put the dry porosilicon films into the grinding jar. Then we will place the grinding balls into the jar. In the case of producing nanoparticles, we would also add liquid. Next, I will close the grinding jar. ready for milling. We will mill the films in a planetary ball mill. I will place the grinding jar in the mill. And we will start the milling. Here we have porosilicon in three different forms. Here are pieces of film. Here are porosilicon microparticles that we have just milled. And here we have nanoparticles in a suspension which we have milled in, in liquid. Especially as porosilicon is relatively unstable, we need to stabilize the surface. For example, we can oxidize the material at high temperatures. Here we have our porosilicon microparticles that we will now oxidize. We will simply place the particles in a high temperature oven in air.